Now for this next part, we've got to show that the tan of 15 degrees is equal to 2 minus root 3. And we can use the identity that we proved in the first part. Because you can see that theta corresponds to the 15 degrees. And if it did, then we can say that tan 15, let's just put this down, tan of 15 degrees is going to equal 1 over sine 2 theta, theta being 15 degrees. So that's going to be 1 over the sine of 2 15s, which is 30 degrees. So 2 theta becomes 5, um, 30 degrees. So we've got here minus cos of 30 degrees, all divided by the sine of 30 degrees. Now, these results should be well known. You could obviously type them into your calculator, but I say they're well known because do learn these basic trig ratios. For 30 degrees or to 60 degrees, we turn to the equilateral triangle. Remember, it's a 60 degree triangle. And if we were to say, let the sides be two units each, then if I was to cut this straight down the middle, it would create a right angle triangle where this angle in here would be 30 degrees. So if I just mark that in there as 30 degrees, we've got our 60, 30, 90 degree triangle. And we have that this side on the bottom is one unit, this side is two units, and we can work out the third side by Pythagoras' theorem as being root three. So I'd really suggest you know you try and remember this triangle. If you're unsure of all of this just go on my website and you'll have a look under the tutorials for the trig ratios and you'll see this demonstrated to you. But you've got a calculator there you most probably could use your calculator and it will give you the exact values anyway but look what we've got here is one divided by the sine of 30 degrees and the sine of 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's 1 over 2, a half. Then we're here we've got minus the cosine of 30 degrees. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and the root 3 is the adjacent side, hypotenuse is 2, so you've got minus root 3 all divided by 2. And that's divided by the sine of 30 degrees, which we've seen is a half. So 1 divided by a half is 2, and in this fraction, if you were to multiply top and bottom by 2, you'd end up with minus root 3 over 1, which is just simply root 3. And so you have it. There you go. We've proved that it is equal to 2 minus root 3.